Who do you th whom do you think benefits the best here as far as individuals are concerned? You know, top bracket, if it drops from 39.6 down to 35, and then we eliminate the investment income tax, it helps them. The low bracket going down to 10% and maybe a bigger standard deduction helps them. Whom do you think really st stands to benefit the most? Well, the key thing is uh, you have to have everyone benefit. That was the genius of the John Kennedy tax cuts of the 60s, the Reagan tax cuts of the 80s, was they included everyone. Right. Now, uh, people, some economists will make the case that increasing the standard deduction, for example, does not add much boost to the economy. But politically, you have to do it. Uh, people have to feel right away they are earning more. And uh, so they've got to do that. Because uh, a lot of people, uh, even if they end up don't paying income tax, uh, like the idea that they keep more of their paycheck, each paycheck to paycheck, of and course. not just depend on a big refund in April. Of course. So they have to do that. And uh, the key thing about reducing tax rates is not to just put more money in your pocket. The key thing is to uh, reduce the price of uh, innovating more, investing more, creating more, working more. And so it's the, if done right, it's the gift that keeps on giving. First, you get an immediate uh, payback in the sense mm -hmm. your paycheck goes up. Sure. But by encouraging investment or removing barriers to investment, you get a more vibrant economy, which means uh, paychecks can increase on the top line, That's not right. just the bottom line in the future.